Hello everyone, I am Dr. Cora Ona V with my handy dandy nurse. Hi, I'm Nurse Cat. Nurse Cat. And so what are the what have you been doing in this quarantine era? Well, like my name, I've been playing with my cats. Oh, is that your cat over there? Let me yes. see. Come here, Fluffy. Oh, yep. See? The perfect kind of hat. Cat. Yep. This is Princess Fluffy. Don't have to feed him, right? Oh, no. Change it? Cool. Good kitty. And it yeah. never runs away. Ah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I heard you like Chinese, too. Oh, it's amazing. That's what happened to my other cat. Mmm. Well, we'll sit kitty over here. So, in this day and age, you have to keep your mind active, right? Definitely. So we suggest reading 30 minutes a day. So what book did you pick out today? I talked about my lost kitten. Little lost kitten. See it. Oh, look, here's another fluffy. Oh, I thought you said you had Chinese food. That so. was with baby. Ah, okay. The smaller, the better they taste. And no more Chinese with you. So this is The Little Lost Kitten, a story of Williamsburg in the days of George Washington. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. George Washington must be really old. Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> a Rand McCauley book. A Rand McNally book. I'll get this right in a minute. Well, it's about cats, so they probably ran away first. <laughs> you think so? Samuel and Jeannie Fairfield were lucky to live in Williamsburg. It was the capital of Virginia. The house had big yards enclosed by white fences. There were gardens and orchards in which to play and many important visitors to see. Their father made fine furniture in his large shop over near the coachmakers. Ooh, furniture. Their own home on Wish Francis Street was roomy and pleasant. The kitchen was in the small building in the backyard. Food was carried from the fireplace. That's a long way to carry food. And I well, bet the cats were happy. I'm sure they had. I would have dropped it. There's a kitty. They oh, go yeah. up from there to the dining room in the big house. But sometimes the children ate in the kitchen with Belinda. The kind of cook. Um, I don't think this is very kid friendly. This is a really old book. Well, it is about George Washington. Okay. Well, I guess they had slaves back in this book. We'll smooth on. I like the kitty in the book. It's a pretty kitty. All I need to right. find one of those for next week's Chinese dinner. Hmm. Mm-mm, good. So we'll skip a couple pages. It was almost noon when he came out carrying a big envelope of papers. He gave it to Zeb, telling him where to deliver it. Boy, they really stopped from kitty to cooking to they're delivering papers now. They sure did a lot back then. Unlike with this coronavirus of just staying home watching TV. Hey, here's a white-haired guy. It's probably George Washington. He was pretty old. Hmm. Well, a fine day to be out with your sturdy son and pretty daughter. Father smiled broadly as the... Afrocarthy? Afrocarthy? Apocarthy? I don't and know. And Jenny and Sam will each a surgery horn bound drop. The what candy man, kind of basically. What kind of kid is this? My Not goodness. a very good one. They say... We don't believe in kids books around here. They say lots of... And what's the word that we use? Um, socially accepted. This is not a very socially accepted book. No, um, it's not. Well, okay, so we'll move on. Mom's cooking dinner. Let's yum, see. yum, yum. Bet it's about the kitten. kitten here. Let's see when we get to the kitten again. I don't see a kitten. Hey, he's putting a wig on the boy. Hey, they must like only old people back in the day. Apparently so. Lots and lots of white hair. <coughs> Let's move on. I think my purple hair is prettier. See? I think your Way purple hair is prettier, prettier too. Hair. 
Um, oh, I see a kitten. We can start again. Okay. Now they were at the palace gate and the turnaround where Ooh, carriages wow. and horses drove up. A girl was rolling a hoop and a boy was bouncing a ball. They stopped playing to stare at the basket in Jenny's hand. Their puppy roamed around them. What was in the basket? Oh, please, couldn't they see? Jenny said, well, just peek. Don't tell me the puppy eats the kitten. That'd be a really we crazy would write a better story. story like this. As she lifted the cover, the puppy barked sharply. And rawr, look, rawr. Tabby. Out looked Tabby. The Tabby is the puppy, I guess. She ran to the palace gate. Jenny after her through the pansy bed. She rushed around the fruit trees. Oh, Sam was shouting pansies. behind Jenny, cried, I'll go for help. Just then the puppy barked again nearby. Tabby, rawr, rawr. frightened, scooted <laughs> out into the open. Running faster than ever, she scampered along the wall. I'm glad you're acting this out. It makes the story and better. And do the turnaround in the front of the palace. Hurry, hurry. How come they're living in a palace? I want a palace. I know. What do you have to do? Probably Here's have a dog that runs right? away. And wear yeah, white wigs. Wig. <laughs> do you wear white wigs? Let's skip on to the end. I know I don't. Oh, there's a kitty with grandma. Oh, does so, grandma eat the kitty? Oh, we know what kind of story this is. Well... Grandma liked Tabby, and Ta Tabby liked her. Mm, the kitten's mm, little good. white paws slapped at Grandma's ball of yarn. After supper, Father and Mother came by with Zeb to take Jeannie and Samuel home. They were much amused on the ride back to listen to the story the children had to tell. Samuel and Jenny Grufield would never forget George Washington or his kindness. They never dreamed he would someday be President for the United States. So, my opinion on this book, this book was written in 18, okay, quit biting me, 1856. <laughs> Depends on who you're talking to. That's a really old book. So, this book was written in 1856. Um, it was 29 cents. So, I think this one was probably one of, like, grandma's or great-grandma's books. Or great-great-grandma's. So, great I would grandma. suggest, um, <laughs> so this is tip-top elf books which they have a bunch of great ones i would just suggest because there's some not appropriate words. words that are acceptable in this day and age i would suggest getting a more updated version of the little lost kitty and i'm sure this book is wonderful so in this quarantine it's about kitties i would Hi. say we probably won't read the whole books so yes get the kitty back over here while we sing our song she can help us so, this little day kitty one went to the market of quarantine. Oh, wrong song. I slept all day. Ha ha. Day two of quarantine. I coughed up my lungs. Day three of quarantine. I went to the hospital and they sent me home. Day four of quarantine. Tell your loved ones that I love, love you. you. Especially since I'm about to die. <laughs> All right, so we will see you next time. I think we need to have six feet apart here. Um. All right. Well, remember to read thirty minutes a day. Helps yep. your sanity. So Definitely. You don't sleep and eat all day. I do, but it's okay. See you later. <laughs>